Lisa from Chevy Road Studio. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing an upcycling video. I have picked out this shirt that I have pre-bleached. So this is one of the ones that I had in my um, grouping the other day, a week or so ago when it was so nice out and I had my long string of flannel shirts and I was bleaching them. This is not flannel. This is cotton. I don't know, I just grabbed it up with the flannels, thinking it was flannel, and when I got it out there to bleach, I just went ahead and did it, because um, it's a nice big shirt. I like the shirt, and I really love the way it came out. I left the bleach on these for quite a while, and this just, it went right down. Um, I just love this. So, um, it's really big. It's a big, it's, it's a 2XLT, so it's a tall, extra large. So what I want to do, I want to combine this one with this lovely shirt. I did not bleach this one. So I may just leave it alone. I may bleach the sleeves after the um, after it's put together if I decide I want to. At this point, I don't know. So I'm just leaving that option open. I'm going to use the body of this one. And we've done this style before, but I just wanted to play with this shirt. And I thought... Um, that's how I would start this out. I'm going to take this, uh, these sleeves off of this one. I'm going to add in this one. I chose this one because I like the colors together. And I also, it's similar to the same size. So this one is a 2XLT as well. I did not know that till just now. I knew it was big. So I'm going to cut the sleeves off this and add the sleeves from this one on here. I really like the colors together, um, so we'll see what we'll see what we end up with. I don't even know yet. I just knew that I wanted to play with this shirt, and I picked out a shirt that was complementary to it, and that's what we're gonna go with. So let's get started. Okay, I have this shirt laid out flat. Um, tried to line everything up as best as I can. I'm gonna cut it since this is a plaid shirt, which is very nice. It has the lines, so you can just follow one of the lines. I'm going to follow this line right here all the way down. So I am going to start at the bottom and start cutting my sleeve section off. Now I'm going to take this one and kind of flip it over here so I can see where I need to cut. Find the line on this side that matches up. Okay, and now we'll save these or we'll use them in this creation. I'm not sure which. Hopefully we'll find a place to use them because it'll look great with all this um, matching bleached fabric. So we'll just set those off to the side. And now we have this luscious middle section that we're going to be adding on to. I have the second shirt laid out. I'm going to cut up the inside of this white line. This is a really neat shirt. I love the colors together. It's very nice. I think it's going to go good with that bleached middle, middle section. save these for something else too. Or we're using these. Sorry, we're going to save this for something else. So we still have this beautiful part right here that I can add some other sleeves to. I think what would look cool with this one is if I had a white shirt, it would be cool to have um, white sleeves on this. But that's for another day. We're going to set this aside unless I decide to 
chop into it for this project i i might but if i don't it would be neat to um use a white shirt with this so we'll put this aside as well and now you know the routine we're gonna take yeah this is the front. Right. I'm gonna cut that out. We do not need those big bulky tags in here. Oh, I am loving it already. I'm loving the way it looks. So I'm just putting it on here so you can see what we're doing. I think this is gonna be a dress. I don't know. Um, okay, so at this point, what I do off camera, I'm going to put this on, put this part on the mannequin so that it hangs properly. And then I'm gonna come with this one and I start by kind of overlapping it where I want it up here. And then I just pin it on all the way around and then I go and sew it on come back and I do the same thing with this one. Ooh, I love this color you guys. I love it. Okay so I will see you back here when I've stitched this piece and this piece on. All right. Okay guys I'm back from the sewing machine. I have sewed both sides of the sleeves onto the main body of this first shirt and I love it. I love the combination. It's I don't know, it just goes really well together, this maroon and the blue. So uh, what I wanna do now is, um, I'm gonna make this into a dress. So it's gonna be, I wanna use this white ruffle that I had in my stash. I've got chunks of it. So I'm gonna be sewing it on in chunks probably. They might not all be the same length even. So how about that? It's going to be just, you know, shabby, ruffly on the bottom. We are not going for perfection here. We're going for just a flowy look. So uh, hopefully I have enough of this to go around the bottom. But um, I thought that would be nice. It'll pick up the white here. So we're just gonna, I'm just going to follow the, the uh, line of the hem. I'm not going to do anything, cut it or anything. I'm just going to follow along from one edge all the way around to the other because this will open up as it'll open all the way up um, still. So you can put it on like that. But um, then we'll figure out if there's anything else we want to do to it. But I want to get that ruffle on just to kind of gauge uh, what else I want to do. So I will take these chunks of this cute white ruffle and I'm sewing them on the bottom and I'll come back and show you when I'm done. Okay, so what I'm doing right now, I have sewn the ruffle on the bottom of the dress. It's so cute. It's so cute, you guys. Right, I'm gonna show it to you in a minute. Right now I've taken scrap pieces of pants. Uh, I'm not sure what pants those were, but I'm going to use these as pockets on the front of this dress. So I want to kind of mark them right about there. That looks a little crooked, doesn't it? Crooked line, but I'm fixing it. Okay, so these are gonna be uh, only one layer, really. I wanted the side that had the bleach on it because obviously that would look pretty cool on the front of this dress. Okay, so I'm gonna wash this dress anyway so this chalk will come off. But anyway, those are our two pockets. Now I'm gonna bring in uh, the dress so you can see the ruffle on it. Also, I have brought in this, remember this gorgeous corduroy shirt? 
Um, I still have some pieces from that. And um, I'd like to use them somehow. So I have not, not a lot. I wanted to make a pocket out of this, but they're just it wasn't big enough. So I'm going to use some of that for something. So I'm going to hang on to that. Let's bring in the dress. So that is all the way around the bottom now. It's long. Yeah, it makes the dress long. Pretty much probably mid-calf uh, mid length. But I think it's cute. You could also use this as a duster if you wanted because it goes open, you know, opens all the way down the front. You could throw this on over jeans and a t-shirt, which would be super cute. So anyway, I'm going to probably throw this on me and then decide I think that's the easiest way for me to decide where I want the pockets to fall and I love the denim with this blue so um, yeah I'm gonna put this on and then measure where I feel like the pocket would naturally should naturally fall and then I'll pin them I'll pin them on and I'll sew those on and then I'll come back and show you okay guys I am back and I have sewn these pockets on. I did um, take some of the corduroy, flipped it over, just did a little trim on the top. I thought that was cute. Um, it allowed me to use some of this corduroy that I wanted to. And then I put a little corduroy patch here on this pocket. Um, on the back, up here between the shoulders, I put a little denim patch with another little corduroy patch there. And then on the bottom, I just did a little cute little pocket there out of the corduroy. Um, yeah, I think this duster slash dress is done. Things don't have to be super complicated to be cute and fun. Um, I'm going to leave the sleeves. So if anybody's interested in purchasing this, the sleeves are long. This is a men's shirt. But when I tried this on, I thought it was really cute when I just rolled up the sleeve you can you can button it and then roll up the sleeve and it just I think it looks really cute like that so I don't want to mess with that too much um, that just kind of gives you that tighter cuff and then it kind of puffs up so I like it that way I'm gonna leave it that way so hopefully the person that purchases this will also enjoy that sleeve so this has been another fun project for me I really love the way these colors look. I'm going to leave this just the way it is. I'm not going to bleach it. So it's going to be partly bleached and partly not. And then some more on the pockets. I think that's fun. We have this really cute. Well, I realize it's fall, but we can still have some white on our um, ruffles, can't we? Uh, I think it'll be fine. So anyway, I think we are done with this project. And I am going to... Throw it in the washing machine and get it ready. So I will post, stay tuned, I'm going to post my usual pictures and probably a video with me wearing this. It's kind of a cloudy day today in Michigan, a little windy, so I'm not sure how that's going to go, but I'm going to try. And then um, after that, I'll post it on YouTube and in my Etsy shop in case anybody is interested. All right, you guys, thanks again. I love each and every one of you. I love your comments. So kind. You guys really make my day. And I appreciate each and every one of you. So I'll see you on the next video. Bye.